This is the Morning Swim Show Streamline for Friday, July 9, 2010. Chloe Sutton announced on her Facebook page yesterday that she is swimming only one race at the LA Grand Prix this weekend, and that will be tonight's 800 free final. In yesterday's prelims, Sutton swam an easy 400, then descended each hundred of her last 400 on the instructions of her coach, Bill Rose. Sutton can't afford to swim just one race at the LA Grand Prix because it's a mathematical certainty that she will win the $20,000 Grand Prix prize when the meet concludes on Sunday. Kate Ziegler put up a great prelim swim of 831.05 to break Sutton's rec meet record of 831.29 and set up a great showdown tonight. Usmaluli and Chad LaTourette did battle in yesterday's 1500 free prelims, both posting a 15.11 to be the top two qualifiers for Saturday's final. Olympic and bronze medalist Ryan Cochran is also scheduled to swim the final, as is NCAA champion Michael Klee. Maluli, Cochran, and Klee will race in tonight's 400 free final along with Tyler Clary, who seems to be adding the event to his program this summer. Also in today's prelims, Nimrod Shapira Bar Or, a 2008 Olympian from Israel, posted the top time in the men's 100 free, setting up a fast final that would include Nathan Adrian, Matt Grievers, and Canadian Olympian Brent Hayden. Jason Lezak just missed out on the final, swimming a 51.07 in prelims for ninth place. The women's 100 free final will be just as star-studded, if not more so. Katie Hoff leads the field with a 55.08 prelim swim, and U.S. Olympians Nally Coughlin, Carolyn Joyce, Dana Vollmer, and Christine Magnuson are in the final, as is Hong Kong Olympian Hannah Wilson and breaststroke world record holder Jessica Hardy. Katinka Hasu is the top seed in tonight's women's 200 fly and 400 IM finals. Also in the 200 fly, we get to see former world record holder Mary DeCenza, now going by her married name, Mary Moeller. In her first domestic competition since moving to Japan to live with her husband late last year. Moeller posted the fifth fastest time this morning in the 200 fly. Elsewhere in the country, many of the nation's best swimmers are competing in their final tune-ups for nationals. Many Longhorn aquatic swimmers such as Eric Shanto and Garrett Weber Gale will race in their home pool in Austin this weekend. And Ryan Lochte is racing in his home pool as well at the USA Swimming Sectional Meet in Gainesville. All the University of Florida swimmers and postgrads who train there are in the meet. Further down south the Florida coast, legendary marathon swimmer Diana Nyad is about to add to her list of extraordinary accomplishments by completing a 24-hour swim around the shores of South Florida. She'll be accompanied by boats occupied by shark spotters, trainers, and navigators. Now this will be the first long distance open water swim for the 60 year old in 30 years. Nyad is well known in open water swimming circles for completing a swim around the island of Manhattan in record time and swimming 102 miles from the west coast of the Bahamas to Florida. That swim still stands as the longest swim in history. Since then, Nyad has, become a, has been a contributor to National Public Radio with a sports show called The Score. Two weeks later, Nyad is going to achieve something a little more daring. She's attempting to break her record for the longest swim by traversing the 103 miles between Cuba and Key West in Florida. We'll keep you updated on her progress. And finally today, we want to welcome back to the pool Olympic champion Laura Wilkinson, who officially announced her return to competition yesterday in an article in the Houston Chronicle. Wilkinson won the gold in the platform event in 2000 and competed in the 2004 and 2008 Olympics, but retired shortly after leaving Beijing without a medal. But the 32-year-old is not competing on the platform anymore. She's taking on the springboard event, which she hasn't done in 10 years. Wilkinson, Wilkinson is competing this weekend at a meet in Florida in an attempt to qualify for the national championships. And that's it for the show today. Be sure to visit SwimmingWorld.com throughout the weekend for results from L.A., Austin, and Gainesville. And we'll see you next time on SwimmingWorld.tv.